Hello guys, this is your boy, Neo Gonzalez, Gonzalez, Weather X45, and look at this, the great polar, vor the polar vortex has come, this is already finally here, frostbite, look at that, frostbite, pulling here, it's freezing outside, this is here, it's already here, Look at here, it's ice, look at this frost, look at this water, moisture coming down. Temperatures right now are really at 10 degrees Fahrenheit. But right now the real field temperature is not 10 degrees. The real field temperature is right now below 20 degrees Fahrenheit and that is freezing today. Um, I had, I had no work today, there was no school for, there was no school today from my cousin, and the reason why was because this cold air is going to be so dangerous, and I mean really dangerous, that it's going to cause ice conditions, look right now, I have frost in, in the door, like, look at this, look at that frost. It's a lot, and I mean a lot of frost. We had issued a polar vortex warning. It's already here. We're in a polar vortex, which is polar vortex mammoth. We're in a bitter blast, cold air. And this is just amazing. Look at how nice it is, the ice. It amazes me. I love this ice. Look, these. this is all frost. This is all frost. This is ice. It's really freezing out there. Um, it's dangerous outside. Now make me see my sister's room. Wow. Look at that ice. Look at that. And look what we did. Look what we did. See? We put a bag. Look at, look at all that ice. Wow, look at that. There's frost. What we got here? Frost. Up where you see that white stuff? That's frost. It's freezing out there. Now off to my sister's room. Let's see. Let's see this bad boy. Ooh. Look at this. Ice. All the way down. It is freezing out there. Wow. Polar Vortex Mammoth really crashed into New York City. Right now I'm in Bronx. I'm really close to the White Plains. This is why I'm having this all this ice. It was so freezing last night. The temperature was 4 degrees last night. And I'm not going to play it off. It was 4 degrees Fahrenheit. And the real feel was 25 below. But right now it's 20 below. Even though it's 20 below, it's still going to feel like 25 below. And it is freezing out there. Look at look at all look at all this ice. My god. The sun is it, it's the the sun is not even helping. Look at this. All that ice. This is about 12 inches of ice right there. Wow. All right, let me check my phone. Let's see. Temperature is going to be 21 degrees. Tonight is going to be 18 degrees. That's going to be cold. Let's see what IQweather.com put. It's going to be 14 degrees. It's going to go 16, 17, 18, then 20, 20, 21, 21, 21, 20, 19, and then 18. There will probably be no school tomorrow as well. And I think it's because those high winds that are going to come. Maybe. I'm not sure yet. Let me see day and night. Mostly sunny, brisk, and quite cold. Extreme cold can be adopted. Um, extreme cold may be dangerous for outdoor activities. Look, see the real feels are going to be 8 degrees. I don't believe that. It's going to be like below. Then for tonight, it's going to be like the real feels 3 degrees. 
Let me look at news and video. There's flooding, downpours, and not just only that, this is the freeze. I shared this into Google+. Plus. As the latest blast of Arctic air settles southward, many areas in the east will have their coldest day of the winter so far on Thursday. Throughout the day, Thursday temperatures are forecast to remain below the freezing mark 32 degrees Fahrenheit from Harris, North Carolina, North Carolina to Atlanta, Birmingham, Alabama, uh, Memphis, Tennessee, and Little Rock, Arcanus. The cold will despite sunshine. Frigid temperatures at night into Friday will raise the risk of imported pipes freezing and bursting, while chilly air will reach the Florida Peninsula. Temperatures will stop short of a damaged frost or, or freeze in central southern countries. Right now, we're in the zero, like in the below zero range. And here, it's like pff, worse. Like worse, 30 below, 20 below, 10 below. Right now, we're in zero for the real field temperatures. And as here, Europe is having a very powerful windy storm and the reason why is because the polar vortex spins around you know what a polar vortex does and the jet stream dips and crashes into the polar vortex that's what caused this area Europe and then the cold air smashing it together with our northeast coastline Europe is issuing really strong gusty winds with blizzard conditions so um, it's gonna be really bad and it's going to be really powerful. And this is unbelievable. And not just only that. There's a double digit ice storm. Spotty ice mix. On Texas. Right now on Texas. Right there. As you can see that's Texas. Texas right there. Travel disruption. Slippery roads. Ice potential set. Saturday and Saturday night. Look. That is just. Wow. Here we had, um, yesterday we had snow showers that were blizzarding around, and that was mostly it, so yeah, that's my weather today, and it's really powerful, this polar vortex, it's even powerful than Kofron Typhoon, don't even play it off, yes, I know, we had warm air like the last week, and that was because of global warming issue, from the two things, and then there was a error. Wow! Look at this. Wow! That is a lot of frost. That is wow. I am amazed. Wow. My sister really banged up the eyes. Hold on. Wow! Look at this. Frost. Frost. Everywhere. Look at that. There's like frost everywhere. This reminds me of um, Cold Front Typhoon when it crashed before. This one reminds me. Oh wow, ice right there. Ice right over there. See, right there, that's ice. Wow. I I was, oh yeah, when I was sleeping, um, I took four packets of sweater, a scarf around me, and I took a jacket. Right now, I took it off right now. I just put it in the closet. I have a lot of clothes in me because I want to prepare for myself from the warm air. And people, this polar vortex that we're having is so bad. It's really strong. It's powerful. It got, look at this. It's frost. Frost. Just come. Let me check the bathroom. Oh, shit. Look. The cold air, the cold air was so bad. Look what it did to the walls. All that moisture was coming in here. And so much warm air crashed in here. Look. Look what happened to the wall. Got damaged. Then this wall got damaged too because these, these airs are, they're in front of the outside air with the bricks in it. And that's what causes this floor to like, be like, crooked and broken. Alright, that's my video today, people. Hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe. Um, give me so many subscribers. I appreciate for 58 subscribers. And yeah, um, hope you guys like this video. Please, please subscribe. I'm a really good expert. I share a lot of videos of the weather. And 
Look, see, ice all over the place. It's all over the place. It's really bad. Look, this is amazing. The polo vortex is really powerful. Well, hope you guys like this video. Please wear your hat, hat, gloves, a lot of mechanical clothes to keep you really warm, a hot chocolate, drink coffee, um, toast, bagel. Oh, let me turn it on for a sec. Eat some bagels, warm bagel with bread, toasted, make yourself oatmeal, you cook it, and you make your own oatmeal, by boo boom bada bang you make pancakes, put it warm, make cereal if you want, you want to be an idiot, because milk is cold, and, look, eat all this food, if you are hungry, eat some warm food, have your scarf, if you're going outside, please be, be careful because this polar vortex is really dangerous. Tonight is going to get worse too. There will probably be no school f for my cousin on Friday as well because this polar vortex is um, dam it's a, it's a damaged cold air that can cause damage to um, the buildings. Like what happened to the bathroom, it um, actually collapsed because the warm air and cold air collapsed together. Moisture slammed into the cold and it collapsed my um, wall from the from the bathroom, so yeah. Hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe and be prepared for that cold from mammoth. It's really strong, it's really powerful. If you're going to work, get those gloves, boots, everything. Put you put you right on, on task to keep you warm. Bring a hot chocolate with you outside. Any food, go to McDonald's, get um warm food, go to Pizza Hut, anything you want. Do not get ice cream, do not get all that, you know, cold food because that's going to get even more worse. You're going to get even more cold. The cold will give you like a temperature that you will feel like it's double digit below 39 degrees Fahrenheit. So yeah. Hope you guys like this video and peace.